uh, not too many things to think because it's short time to change everything. I have to change whole whole like whole T-shirt and socks, everything. And also, um, uh, second set and third, I was losing the second set and winning third set, right? If I'm right. So I am also had a one toilet break. So I tried to be like same mindset, like just okay, go. Like, don't think too much. This set is gone, so one more set is coming. So you don't have a time to think uh, negative things. So try to think a little bit more positive thing, and then refresh my mind, just reset again, try it again, everything, try it again. So yeah, that's it. Okay, very good. Questions in English. Uh, Thanks. Aki from Smash Magazine. Uh, can you talk about uh, your feeling, your reaction after you won? It's a, did you feel like a su surprised? Are you surprised or uh, did you believe in yourself that you can make it? Uh, I was quite believing myself. If not, uh, if not that the fifth set is going to be a different result because um, I mean, I was a little bit tired uh, for a few days already. I had some, whatever, some sore pain or whatever. So I, I really, I really, like, I don't spend so much energy. So I try to be calm for whole match. So um, in the end of the match, the finish, the last point, I don't, I don't really celebrate. Like, I'm not super happy, but it is happy in my, in my like inside. But it just didn't show up. So yeah, like this. Chris. Jen. Uh, Chris Otto with the U.S. Open. Congrats. Thanks. Um, I'm wondering, five set matches were difficult for you for many years, and now you have two wins back to back in a row in five setters. How do you do change this mentality for yourself? How are you able to get over this hurdle? Um, the last few five. <laughs> <laughs> Think, think nothing of that. <laughs> I'll have to report that. Uh, Continue uh, on. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, uh, last couple five set, it was also quite close match. It wasn't like uh, far away. They always have some chance. I mean, tennis is like this, you know, a couple points different and make the whole match different. Last four matches, I lost last four times. There's a little bit unlucky. There's also a little bit had the wrong choice on the important moment. And these two times, I just made a right choice and plus I'm lucky, which is you played. I mean, you cannot play 10 times 5 sets. You're losing 10 times 5 sets, right? I mean, there's a small chance. But for sure, you will win one. I mean, there's a chance. So try to, um, you know, just keep playing and then just keep uh, believing yourself every single time. Even in tough moments, still try to believe yourself and then in the end, you'll make it. What were the right choices you made tonight? Oh, tonight, um, tonight, I will say that even... Even the points is different. I mean, even the points when I lose or when I, I had a many times as like uh, unforced arrow. But I know I have to play like this way. I need to give him more pressure to him because I cannot wait too much. We, I cannot play too long rally and then play waiting him to get the mistakes. There's not, there's not many balls he will make a mistake. So I need to push him. That's, that's how, like, you know, from beginning to the end. That's how I follow it. Okay. Good. Some more. Yeah. It's okay. You want? You can ask another question. Go ahead. Um, I mean, can, can we look back at maybe two years ago, where you were in your career? I know it's been difficult with the pandemic for all the Chinese players, but with you and Yi Bing and Jerry, it's a lot of progress. A lot of good things happening. What was it? Did you think this was going to happen two years ago? That things would be going so well. You're the first man to beat a top five player. Yi Bing has his title. You guys are in the third round of slams now. It's it's pretty amazing. Two years ago, so which means uh, 2021, right? Uh, you, you can pick any time, really. Uh, two or three. In years. that moment, it's well. In that moment, you will not think like this because in that moment it was super hard for us. First of all, with the COVID situation, it's tough to get outside, and then everything is tough. And the second, in that moment, you know, we don't, we still struggling like in challenges. So. I don't think that moment we we believe today we can make this result. I mean, in that moment I would say we were more thinking like try to break top hundred. That's our goal because um, 
like the goal you have to step by step so in that moment the goal is top 100 and then which is we made it so you have a new goal so just step by step but that moment i don't think uh, i will say two years after like um we had a tour level champion and we had the tour level title and then we had a grand slam 32 like a third run i mean in that moment two years ago if you tell me this i wouldn't believe it but um last year maybe i will try to believe it because last year we we're trying we both are playing a little bit better i mean it was a little bit good year for us i mean which is diff this year is even better <laughs> we we hope every year is better and better yeah uh, at Ashina Koike, a lot of sports talk and uh, usopen.org. I'm not sure if you've been asked this, but uh, of course, last year with uh, Tim Van Rijthoven, you know, such a tough loss. Um, when did you get over that loss? Uh, or how long did it take for you to get over that loss last year? And what was the, when you came here this year, did you think about it at any point before your first round? Um, any point, for sure, because this is, you never forget. This is all the time. It's, I mean, you cannot say in your mind all the time, but but those memories are, are there, you know, like uh, good memories you will never forget, and also those bad memories also you will never forget. And uh, the last time it's just a couple of days to pass this because I had a Davis Cup after, and then uh, actually I was a little bit worried about the next match, what I'm going, like, uh, you know, losing this kind of match always is big confidence, like it's hurting you so much. And then, I had a one one win in Davis Cup. Actually, it's, I'm fine already. So, yeah, you just need a one one more win to get re, uh, get, get get over this. So uh, you just talked about that how tough that during the COVID and uh, actually uh, I some like a Chinese colleagues uh, journalists told me that maybe that tough situation made you guys quite. You know, made uh, you guys good player because because of that uh, quarantine, you guys cannot go back, couldn't go back to China. You guys have to stay on the tour, and then you guys could have uh, like some experience and practice with good players. And that kind of situation made you guys better players. That is what some uh, Chinese journalist explained to me. So do you agree with that? <laughs> Uh, yes, part of it. I mean, because uh, for sure this is very tough situation for us, but which is um, also this good push for us because um, we we before we also like we had a time we were going back to China quite often, maybe four five times, maybe five six times per year. But in that moment, you uh, you have to push yourself to stay outside, and then you get a more system practice, and you get a more system like a uh, schedule to play in a tournament. You can have a more time to play the those uh, tournament because if you're going back, that's waste of uh, like uh, one week or two weeks is for nothing. So actually, yes, 2022 it is pushing us pretty hard, which is really tough moment and. Very lucky that we both, like me and Weeping, we both are outside for like one year, more than one year. I mean, in the end, it's a good result. So I cannot say really it's bad for us, you know, but it is tough, really tough. Okay. One last question, Yash. Uh, do you feel that the interest for men's tennis is increasing in China since you cracked the top 100 and we Ooh, sorry, well? sorry again? Do you, do you feel that the interest uh -huh. for men's tennis in China is increasing? Mm, yes, I, I would say yes. More, more and more people is watching, more and more people is trying to play in tennis. Uh, in Shanghai, at least in Shanghai, yes. And now we get a more courts and we had a more people to, pra uh, to play. Whatever kids, whatever like uh, ladies, you know, whatever they for the picture or whatever. At least they step on the tennis court and then, uh, I mean, Especially last last year, we made a uh, like we break the top hundred, and then also we've been got a U.S. Open also surround here, and now this year even better. So for sure, I mean, it's a lot of people try to play.